Hey guys, you care if we talk for a moment? A few minutes of your time? Something uh, I kind of want to talk about. I don't hear a lot of other people talking about it. Um, it's, I mean, you're, you're probably going to think, oh, he's going to talk about his followers again. Uh, what was me? No, not really. Not really what I'm aiming for. So let's go ahead and talk for a moment. So I was informed a few days ago, Monty said I was at my 12 year anniversary on YouTube. 12 years. Think of it. Not only has it been 12 years, but I hit 1500 followers. As an influencer, in the influencer game, it's not a whole lot compared to a lot of people. You know, it's just, a, it's just, to me, to me, that's a hell of a lot, okay? To me, that just makes me think, hey, there's 1,500 people that saw my face, another neckbeard <laughs> fat kid talking shit on the internet. Nothing a whole lot special, right? And, you know, I get that a lot. I get that from the comments. And yeah, that's fine. I don't care. We, we, we make fun of those comments, right? We post them on a community tab. Anytime we get something stupid, we post it on a community tab. You know, I'm not trying to, you know, pick on these people. I'm just posting, hey, you want to be a dick? I'll be a dick back. And I think it's funny. I think it's funny. You guys kind of seen that the last couple of days. Just some of the shit they say is just like so funny. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys enjoy those. And I know you guys, you guys know how to use a community tab. I don't have to show you. You guys know. You guys are smart and I love you for it. But it's not a woe is me video. It's not a feel sorry for me and hit that subscribe button. No, no. But if you do want to hit that subscribe button, feel free to do that. What what I ultimately would like to hit, maybe, maybe, just just maybe, here in January we hit three thousand. Hey, is that a lot to ask? It is. That's double of what we got today. That's is it possible? According to Social Blade, it is, but I don't know. Social Blade is weird. Um, but I, you know, I I am so thankful that we have fifteen hundred followers, and. You know, we get so we get such such a great community, and and I love it very much. But then you have detractors, and I'm not talking about trolls and people that just make dumb comments, right? I'm talking about real world detractors that you surprisingly wouldn't even think would happen, right? So sometimes when people see that you have hit something, you, you found something, you become semi-successful. Usually you have people within your friend zone. Uh, and I'm not saying, I'm not giving specific names. I'm giving examples because this has probably happened to you. And this doesn't have to mean just YouTube or Twitch. This could be a number of things. When you find success, people try to stop that people for the most part are jealous and you know they'll deny it they'll be like no i'm not jealous it's just you're pure cringe and you know you should go back and do what you want i don't like your content so you know you should quit uh, oh but but then you're like wait wait there's a lot of people watching why would i quit doing what i'm doing oh it's because i don't like it particularly and you know you're you, it's just cringe, man. It's just cringe, and uh, you should stop what you're doing, lay off of it. And let's go ahead and admit this. We make a lot of sweetie videos, right? Who doesn't? A lot of us do. It's a, it's fun, and it's easy. It's fun and easy. Um, <laughs> and a lot of people do it. And you people say, oh, you're running off the coat set tells of his success. You mean his success of being a dumbass? I, I mean, I guess. But I like talking to you guys. You you guys seem to like my content, and I am happy about that. But for some odd reason, you have people that does not like to see other people have any type of success or fun. 
as soon as I see you in this day and age, and I don't know if it's been always been like that, but to me, I've noticed it more recent. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense why somebody will look at you, especially say if it's a friend, a family member, something like that. And they're like, hey, um, you... You, you're you're doing good, but I don't like it. You should stop, and people don't like you. Obviously, obviously, people like me. Not you know, I'm not trying to be conceited. You know, I get these really awesome comments all the time. The videos are doing great. The numbers are doing great. The channel is growing. You know, eventually that's going to stop, probably. You know, once the sweetie train's over, which you know, eventually that's going to be over, right? Let's we're let's let's just say that it's going to happen. It's going to be over. Then we all move on to the next big thing. <laughs> but right now, the big focus is you know, sweetie, and people for some odd reason. I I know I know it's like watching a rerun or you know trying to stay. Uh, caught up on your favorite TV show because, well, I don't understand what's going on here. They hop in on a video and you're like, wait, uh, that doesn't make a sense. Well, if you would have watched it three or four videos ago, you would have known. You would have known what was going on. So instead of saying, hey, quit doing that, maybe you should take a look at what's going on, why that video was made, and why it's continued to be talked about. Like, you know, <laughs> when somebody does something stupid, constantly when somebody scams people constantly when you know people just morally fucking bankrupt just do dumb things you can't help but talk about it and you're probably just like what what's that do to affect your life well honestly it doesn't if anything it makes me laugh and it makes me feel bad the reason why I feel bad because I don't like seeing people get hurt. I don't like to see people get scammed. I don't like to see people hurt emotionally, mentally, you know, the, all the same. I don't like to see that. And I, you know, a lot of us um, make these videos so people don't fall into his trap. And this doesn't have to be just sweetie. This is anybody, right? Anybody that's out there to hurt you. And like I said, it doesn't have to be physically, but it can be mentally. It can be financially. And that's why I kind of feel like we make these videos. is because we don't want people to go through that. It's, it's not fair, right? It's not fair at all. And it just doesn't make sense that once somebody sees that you're doing something that other people like, they want you to stop doing that. They're like, hey, I don't like it, but... You know, fifteen hundred other people like it, but you you should stop doing that because um, it's it's stupid, and I'm not happy, and I see that you're happy, but you shouldn't be happy. You should be sad all the time. You should be really sad and cringy. You 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 stupid Derek. You stop doing that now. You fat pig. So says so that right? Is that is that's how we do it. That's how we do it. We get called fat on all, all the time. I might as well say it before. They say it that way. It's preemptive. They're like, wait, we're just, oh, he already said he was fat. Like, wh wh why can't I call him that? Oh, I know. You're fat. Yeah, I know. I know, right? It's not a secret. Not a secret. But I love I love it. I love it. It's, it's just so funny. I think today I got called. Yes, yeah, today I got called a homophobe. And I question myself, and I'm like, yeah, we, we've made fun of Sweetie because how he threatens men sexually, right, has nothing to do with me being a homophobe. Nothing to do with that. I, you know, I don't care. And I'm not going to be, oh, I got gay friends, so therefore I'm not homophobic. No, I'm not. I, I'm not homophobic. I know I'm not. Am I, it, will I say the word gay from time to time? Yeah, I do. Who doesn't? A lot of people do. Uh, gay people even say it. It is it is what it is. Um, you know, I'm not trying to insult you. Sweetie, on the other hand, he gets offended whenever you call him out on his bullshit. And when I mean that is when he messages you, send unsolicited, you know, 
stuff that you know you didn't want to see or makes these threats you're like okay here's this stop stop saying you stop saying that this that's the reason why people say you're gay because you know that's it is what it is I, that's i don't care we we made videos about it we made plenty of videos about it I, it's just funny i thought thought of the that detractor like it just made me laugh and you know just to point out the hypocrisy of that statement it's like okay okay i i guess so if you if you say that i am you know whatever i i don't care which you know guys i'm not i don't i don't really care like i don't care what you do i really don't um everybody should love everyone Everybody should have a chance to love and marry whoever they want. Even if you want to marry a tree, I don't care. It's not going to bug me any. Like, trees need love. Anyways, back on track. Or what track we did have. We didn't have a track. We just, we just, we don't. We don't have a script. But I just wonder, like, does this happen to you guys? And I'm sure it has. And like I said, it doesn't have to be social media or anything you could be really good at baseball people see that you're becoming successful but they become jealous and like hey you shouldn't play baseball anymore because you could just give that up now one of the things i would not do personally if you love something if you're having fun if you're becoming successful i'm not going to tell you to quit i'm not going to tell you to quit doing that but and you know that sounds hypocritical. You're like, hey, wait a minute, but you're you're telling Sweetie to stop. It's a difference. It's a difference. You can be successful and you can have fun all you want. But when you start hurting other people, using their pain for profit, hurting them financially, then you have a problem. Then you can then you have all rights to say whatever the fuck you want. As long as you're not saying, "Hey, I'm going to kill you" or something, like, don't don't do that, or don't fucking dox people, um, you know, threaten, you know, death threats, or anything. Don't do that. Let's not do that. Um, and I know, like I said, it does sound hypocritical of me for saying that, but it's true. Like, if you start fucking around and uh, doing these bad things, then obviously we have a problem. Then we're going to talk about it. Then we're going to try our best to get you to stop doing that, even if you're having fun. On other people's expense, that's when we come in, right? It's when we come in, and it's nothing, you know, nothing. Uh, it's it, it was out of my element to begin with, um, and we started, you know, we started with the content nuke, right? Then the second big thing was the um, auction, and that's where things actually took off. Stepped out of my element, had fun. Then people's like, hey, you shouldn't have fun anymore. Don't have fun. Don't don't be successful. Don't be successful. You you can't be successful. I guess the point of this is with any type of success, anybody sees you having fun, being happy, you're always gonna have a detractor. It's always gonna happen. It doesn't matter what it is. And sometimes it'll surprise you who the detractors are. It, was a, it could be a friend, could be a family member, could be your dog, could be fucking Bing Crosby from the past coming to the future. That's a little out there, but you know what I mean. But guys, I really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know if this has happened to you. Now, like I said, this is not a woe is me video. This is, hey, let's spot these things out. Let's talk about them. Let's... Uh, Let's not hide it. Let's not hide the fact that this stuff happens. Um, obviously, it happens all the time. But let me go ahead and say this. And we'll end it here. If you're happy, if you found something you love, if you found some kind of success, keep pursuing it. Keep going after it. Don't really care about what other people think. You know, I know this is, sounds hypocritical, this video. It's like, well, you you care what people think. No, not really. Not really. And, and it's hard to not do that, because especially when it comes from people you know personally. Um, it might bother you a little bit, 
but don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you from doing what you like. You know, in my life, I have done so many things that I liked and stopped because other people didn't like it. You know, I stopped. I always cared what other people thought of me. And sometimes I do. But that's my mental issues. You guys know those. So, you know, I'm trying to, I try to follow my uh, own advice, but I know I'm never good at it. I'm, like I said, I'm not perfect. And I'm sure somebody, <coughs> girl that called me a homophobe, <coughs> yeah, stupid, um, will tell me I'm not perfect. I know this. I don't have to, I, you know, I'll say it again. I'm not perfect. Oh my God. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it. Let's go on that road. Let's get to 2,000 followers and let's hit 3,000 by the end of the year. Got a deal? Can we do that? Think we can do that? Keep sharing. Keep playing. Um, you know, I keep on saying I'm going to start streaming. Uh, I want to put content out of me and my transformation from super fat guy to regular fat guy that knows how to fight. Um, you know, we're still looking into what we can do with, between Josh and I, uh, we've been having fun. Uh, I haven't got to talk to Josh. Uh, I'd love to have Josh on, uh, hopefully when we get a stream going, maybe, uh, he can stop by, um, you know, we could talk to some of the guys at Legicator. He's doing great. Uh, obviously his knee is having some problems and he had a little bit of bad luck. Uh, so, you know, if you guys pray, pray for, pray for everybody. Um, if you don't pray, Good vibes, right? Although I'm not going to alienate you one way or the other. But I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.